What do you think about Ozonix? Uh, ozone. I th- you know, it's actually an interesting thing, and I think it uh, it could work in the in the uh, right environment, but you'd have to be contained within in something. And you'd have to have several of those units, and I don't even think it's too healthy to be. Um, yeah, using that kind of uh, amount that you'd need to really cover yourself. And um, really, if I take a step back here, I think Ordzonix could possibly work, like I said. Yeah. But really, I, that's not even something I would want to do. The last thing I would want to do is uh, remove my scent. I think Ozonic probably comes the closest, but I think it still fails. Mm-hmm. But if you removed your scent completely, hunting would be too easy and wouldn't even be fun no more. It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed yeah. to be difficult. You know, all these people trying to beat the system, and I hope they always fail because hunting is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a challenge. And, um, if you find some simple way to, um, make it so a deer can't smell you and you can walk right up to them while they're bedded and kill them, it ain't going to be fun no more. It really ain't. Yeah. Might as well as just pop chipmunks in the yard. Mm -hmm. It's also fun to do. Uh, I know like I've seen some of the, you know, the big hunters on the outdoor channel and stuff, they'll, They'll use an ozonics inside their blinds, and that probably is a, you know, fairly effective way of reducing scent. But I've never, never messed with any. Off or don't or or whatever. Yeah, what you got to remember is, you know, I've worked in the industry long enough to have worked with a lot of those those people that are on shows and stuff. Yeah, I ain't gonna name names, but uh, you're with them, and they tell you the same thing I'm saying that scent control don't work, and then they're on TV telling you telling you to right. buy it because it does. Yeah, and uh, I've had those same guys tell me at the shows over the year that I'll never have a TV show if I keep talking the way I talk because you got to have a scent control sponsor, you got to have a pants sponsor, you got to have a knife sponsor. You got to if you don't have all those sponsors, you won't be able to afford to do this for a living. You cannot, you know, tell people not to use that stuff. And, and literally, why would I want to become an infomercial? But those guys want to be important in hunting so bad that they're willing to sell their souls for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would rather just be honest. And uh, crap don't work. And people can yeah. keep asking questions in different directions, but same answer. It don't work. Yeah. And I hope it never does. Right. Right. Um, it's supposed to be a chess game. You know, it's it's me and you against the deer. It's, yeah. it's not like a trickery game. It's not. We're not magicians. It's it's about learning the habits picking the right tree, figuring out what you got to do for the wind. That's the challenge of it. Why do you want to take the challenge out of hunting? Yeah. Fortunately, like a lot of states have kind of, you know, nipped the butt and some of the technologies that came out over the years um, that made it kind of unfair, just like can't hunt at night. Right. Cause it's, mm-hmm. it's makes it too easy. Um, there's some like bow sites too, that I don't know if I totally agree with that. Like just, you just essentially is a range finder on the thing and you, and you just point it at the deer and it pops the light up. Exactly. You know, there's like, it takes like, mm-hmm. in my opinion, if you got one and like it, great. But it just seems to me like, it's like, ah, that's, that's pushing it for me. It's like, man, that's doing a lot of stuff for you there. Yeah. Um, you, you know, that's a good point is, is like, uh, don't take my statements as I'm knocking somebody for using no. scent control or I'm knocking somebody for using some technology. Um, I don't care what anybody does. I'm yeah. saying for me, my personal feelings, because because hunting is supposed to be a, th- a thing between you and nature. It yeah. ain't between you and other people. I don't care what other people do. I no. have no no opinion of what anybody listening to this does. What I care about is what I do. Yeah. As a matter of fact, that you know, I could care less if Josh uses scent control or he doesn't. Mm-hmm. I'm worried about me. You know, what, yeah. you know what, being true to myself. Yeah. Yeah. We don't think any less of you if you wear scent lock and a hairnet and sling around in the saddle. And, uh, yeah, if it works for you, I, that's what I do too. You know, <laughs> Hey everybody, if you like the channel, make sure you subscribe right here. And if you like the clips, I got two more options for you. Two options right here. Subscribe right here. See you guys.